We tested the Theta X with different types of USB C Ethernet adapters. We found that the Theta X can be powered from the USB adapter, giving some indication that businesses may want to look at this solution for possible long term surveillance of construction sites or other places. This might also be appropriate for large scale used car sales or other types of online auctions where a 360 degree view is needed. In our first test, we wrote a plugin to connect to the outside world. The plugin is connecting to an external cloud API server. This just checks to see if a business application you write can push it up to your cloud based server. And it does. Wonderfully. The Theta X is connected to my office internet using Ethernet and a DHCP server. I next decided to test the web API commands from the camera. In this next set of tests, the camera is the server and is connected to my office internet with Ethernet. I'm using a Windows 10 computer to send API commands from the Windows 10 over Ethernet to the Ricoh Theta X. The first command is sets the camera control source to my Windows 10 workstation and set it as app. This disables the OLED on the camera. The next API command is take picture. Everything seems to be working perfectly. I've disabled sleep today with set options. Using camera.list files, I can grab a single file URL from the camera and then connect to the camera using a get request with digest authentication. I can then pull the image down as if it were a local web browser. Using my API testing tool, I drop into the git command, the URL I got from list files. Boom, and there's the image. In the next test, I place the Rico Theta X in front of my laptop computer. It's playing a movie on the screen, and I'm going to try to capture the motion of the movie with the Theta X using Ethernet. This would simulate some type of prototype for a surveillance system or you want to see what's going on at a remote site in 360. For this test, I didn't have time to prepare a streaming plugin. So I'm using the Amelia viewer, getting the motion JPEG from the camera just to see how it performs for a longer term test where there's motion going on. This is a low frame rate, low resolution type of test and is not an indication of the actual capabilities of the Ricoh Theta X. This test is designed to test the, um, the motion JPEG capability, which is the live preview. This is the one you see on the mobile app right before you take a picture. It's not actually designed for this type of streaming. However, I wanted to see whether it would work and you know, what the latency was is actually pretty good, um, but it's not as good as if you're actually to use the live streaming features of the Ricoh Theta X. The laptop is just displaying the video. The Ricoh Theta X is not connected to any computer. The Ricoh Theta is connected only to the Ethernet adapter, and the Ethernet adapter has power uh, on it, and the that's how the camera is getting the power. I streamed it for about an hour with no loss at all in battery charge on the camera. I got to watch a couple movies, but you know, in reality, I was actually doing work while I was watching uh, the movies from my uh, computer on Windows 10. You can see that the battery charge is 100%, it's 1.0. The camera is charging. There's this pretty interesting new field here about battery insert, which is a Boolean variable, which might indicate that maybe there's a state where the battery is not inserted. I want to check this thing out. Based on the state command here, the results with this battery insert, we're going to try to turn the camera off and take out the battery and just see what happens. Whoops. Be careful. Okay, so what happens when you try to turn it on without the battery in? Let's see. Is there anything? Whoa, 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 it's turning on. This is pretty neat. Now I figured that since there was a Boolean variable for whether the battery, 
was inserted or not. Maybe there's a state where it's not inserted and the camera can still respond, right? Otherwise, why would it be there? Look, the battery's on the ground and the camera is still working. Well, this Ethernet test turned out more exciting than I anticipated. I'm using a 360. Look, look, the battery's right there. Isn't that incredible? Again, this is not a test of the, uh, the resolution of the streaming because I'm just using the motion JPEG. Wow.